Hi guys, happy Monday. Welcome to Laura's Dose of Stamping Therapy. It is, um, it's a fabulous Monday. The weather is gorgeous, little chilly, but I'm okay with that, um, at least for now, because I can still like wear this and be like a little chilled, but not like, you know, having to wear layers upon layers. So it's still good. Um, anyway, today we are going to be playing with everything fall. So you know that last week we played with the September 2020 paper pumpkin kit and made these little fabulous treat boxes with snacks inside. Today is, um, I mean, I don't know, is this a real, a real one made up? I don't know. Um, anyway, Claire went to school with, uh, teacher treats. So national, it's not teacher appreciation week though. So I'm really not sure what today is, but it's teacher something. So to all my teacher friends out there, thank you for everything that you do. Um, to all my moms who are homeschooling and doing this whole virtual hybrid craziness, here's to you too. So, um, so today I'm actually going to be using all of those extra pieces because I have so many like when I just have like a few, I'm like, oh, that's fine. I'll toss them in the scrap bin. No big deal. There's so many. And you guys know how much I um, love to and need to send out hashtag happy mail. So I'm going to use these pieces to make some happy mail and send out this month. And I'm making them fall themed. So I have to use them this month. So I'm just, you know, forcing myself into it. So I actually have um, these, we played with these before because I had these prepped for a class that never happened because of the craziness that's going on right now. Um, and so I'm kind of using them up. I don't know if I'm going to use that crushed curry seam binding um, on these cards, but maybe. Otherwise, I will um, toss those back in my use bin and still use all of these little note cards and envelopes. So these note cards and envelopes make it super easy to make quick and simple cards because they're already like done for you. Cute little envelope, which you know what? I'm bringing those back in. We're going to stamp on those. And then just an already pre-cut, pre-scored. Do you see that score line? Here, I'm trying to show you here, but um, see that score line there? So pre-cut, pre-scored little note cards. So I'm just gonna get those out and stamp on them. Now I'm not expecting that these cards are gonna be the most amazing card ever. They're just gonna be a quick and simple note card that I can just write a simple little note on the inside saying happy fall, saying, um, I don't know, welcome to the new season, thinking of you, um, stay cozy and warm this fall. Just anything like that. Simple happy mail to send to brighten someone's day. So nothing major, no, you know, 500 layers or a whole bunch of details. I'm just going to use up some of the supplies from the paper pumpkin kit as well as have happy mail to send out. So let's get started. Here's two little ones that I have already done just to kind of get some inspiration going. And I was like, okay. Now I feel like I'm on a roll and I stopped and ate lunch and now I'm back. And so I hope I can get back on that roll um, and keep going. So I also got out the Cajun Craze is the ink color that came in the paper pumpkin kit. Um, of course, as a little stamp and spot. Uh, but I went ahead and I grabbed Garden Green and Pumpkin Pie as well because those are the colors used here. I kind of like the little curly cue on this one better than that one. That one just kind of looks like the pumpkins are like boing and going all over. But um, who knows? The Happy Fall, y'all, actually came from the Banner Year stamp set. This was last month's uh, free stamp set of the month. This month, it's actually a beautiful life, a beautiful year, a beautiful something. And I don't have a catalog around me to flip to it to find out to show you guys. But yeah, it's um, it's the one with the tree and all the seasons. 
it's in the um the mini catalog and it's a beautiful something i think it's our life is beautiful life is beautiful and that's because i'm looking at it but of course i can't read it because it's all the way on the other side of my room uh, but the greeting there's a greeting in the set that is the same name as the set and i can see that life is all scrolly and i so life is beautiful um i also have my beautiful autumn stamp set here and then, of course, there's always the stamp set that came with Paper Pumpkin. So those are the three stamp sets that I'm kind of going to play with um, and see, see what happens. Um, so I pulled out the two leaves from the Paper Pumpkin set, and I'm just going to stamp those uh, randomly. Hi, Karen. Welcome. Oh, my gosh. I need to, like, oil my ink pads or something. And that one, that one was just fine. Okay, let's focus on one or two at a time. Hmm. Maybe I should try to come at this with a little bit of idea. I don't know what that idea is, but... I don't really want to say have a happy Halloween, I don't think. Give thanks is a really cute one. I really like the have a beautiful day. But anyway, I think we're just going to do, we're going to do this. Ooh, maybe we should do it going that way. And we're going to stamp some leaves all over. And then we're going to fill in with some 3D looking leaves by, um, by popping them out and up on cardstock. So I'm just rotating this around. Hmm. Okay. Rotating that around. This one's going to be in the pumpkin pie. So I just about did this. So I just want to share it with you. Let me get a scrap piece of paper so you can see what I am talking about. Little stamped images can sometimes come out like that, where it's only half of an image. And you're like, what happened? But I will also show you, can you see that only half of the ink is gone from that leaf? I hope you guys can see that really well. Let me wait until... The camera catches yeah so you can see how on on the stamp half of it looks really dark and half of it doesn't that's because I only touched the paper with half of it and um, and I sometimes uh, I sometimes throw my stamps around um, I sometimes have customers who wonder why their image doesn't come out completely and I will say that the reason why is probably because you're not actually stamping flat because like we all already, like see how I'm angled and then I'm stamping down. Well, if I'm stamping down at an angle like this and look at that camera um, at an angle, then I'm not actually getting it. Uh, of course, this is not a good image for that because it is coming out. Um, but you know, like if you're just going like this, like not all of them are coming out because I'm at that angle. And some images are different, like bigger images sometimes are like that. So depending on how it is, if you have that problem where it seems like you're not getting that full image, one of my suggestions is to look through the photopolymer and watch that ink touch the paper. To me, it's magical. Like I love it. When I can see that ink go and touch the paper, it's like the coolest thing ever, but I know, maybe I'm kind of crazy. So there I could see that it touched everywhere and we're all good. One of the other things that I will say is if the image is big enough, now these little ones are kind of hard because sometimes it would rock and then make problems. And this one might too since it's like long and skinny. But the other thing would be to like set the stamp down and then just lightly press 
evenly across and then pick it up. That way you know that it all is flat because you let go of it. So it's not, you can't let go of it if it's like, if it's like this, because otherwise it would drop and you would go, ooh, I didn't actually have that sitting down. So I hope between all my cameras, that was, <laughs> that showed up really well for you guys. So you can always set it down, light little press. We don't want to like rock and roll and go crazy or we're going to end up with, I mean, that's kind of cool looking. <laughs> not always going to come out really cool looking though. So, um, but like, look at the shadow on that minus this little part up here, but the shadow effect on that is so cool. <laughs> I love it. Um, so anyway, just set it down, light little tap everywhere, like nice, even pressure and then lift. So if you're having problems with that where you're not getting the full image and it's angled and things like that, there's my little tip for you um, for, for how to fix that. And it's okay because you're not the only one who does that. And I sometimes have people say, no, I did press it um, all the way. Well, I don't think you did. So try that trick, see if it works for you. If it does, nailed it, glad we could fix it. And if it doesn't, well, I'll have to figure out something else. So we're gonna toss that aside, pull back our card again. And now that I cleaned both of them, I'm gonna do some green leaves. I kinda like this leaf better. So, So what did everybody do this weekend? Did you have fun? Did you enjoy the weather? Was the weather good? Our Saturday, what did we do on Saturday? Our Saturday was kind of like rainy, meh, but that's great napping weather. And that definitely happened this weekend. Um, it happens a lot because I'm pregnant. Um, so, uh, but yeah, so we, we napped and uh, enjoyed a lot of family time. And what else did we do? Got some things done around the house. One of my other big things though that I was gonna talk to you guys about today was, have you ever gone to Aldi and forgot your bags? I just threw everything into my trunk, but then whenever I got home, it was like carrying in 500 loads of groceries and it was kind of annoying. Um, which I did end up taking one of the totes out there with me, but my husband has been going to the grocery store a lot more lately. And I was out and about and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna stop by. So I stopped by Aldi to do our grocery run because we have this fabulous app on our phones that syncs between the two called To Do and it's lists. So we put all of our grocery lists for any store on there, so like we have a you know one for Sam's and one for Aldi and one for Walmart and Target and one for IKEA and you know and different things like that. Like we have um, Claire's Christmas list and different things. So no matter where we are, we can always look at that list and we don't have to worry about oh I forgot it at home or oh Brad took it but I decided to go to the store or in this instance I decided to stop by the store on my way home even though I didn't have grocery bags but I still had that list. So that was super cool. I love it. Okay, so we're gonna try maybe a little pumpkin or two. I feel like these were supposed to be quick and simple and I'm not doing them quickly. <laughs> because I'm chit-chatting too much. Okay. But that's typical Laura. Okay, that's just a whole bunch of flowers left. I will say though, um, I don't mind going to Aldi without bags. My biggest shopping pet peeve is in the rain. Oh, I hate it. I absolutely hate 
going like in and out of stores or you know grocery shopping in the rain it is the worst I feel like you helped your sister-in-law move ah oh, moving is no small feat that is exhausting so I hope you um, have a nice chill day today because yeah it's it's crazy moving moving is I don't know you kind of like think like oh it's no big deal we don't have a lot of stuff and then you start doing it Laura are you on I know you moved this weekend too um, she is out east and she moved this past weekend And she said she hasn't, she's been in her last house for like almost 40 years or something. So I'm sure there was a lot of packing. Okay, I think I'm going to stamp the happy fall, y'all, down in the corner, but not in green. If you guys have any suggestions on any of these cards, then shout them out. Um, give me some ideas. Let's make some beautiful cards. Happy fall, y'all. And then maybe I'm going to do the big pumpkin. I really like the big pumpkin. But I'm almost running out of it, I think. Or I just don't have any of them left. Ooh, I have two left. Ooh, but it covers up everything. I think I'm just going to randomly add some leaves. And then I'll pop some of them up. Let's pop up some of these pumpkins. One of my other crazy questions for you guys today is how many of you guys love or hate the dentist? So I will say um, I've had my fair share of crazy dentists over the last... How old is Claire? Two years. Um, because it was after I gave birth to her that I had a whole bunch of teeth problems. Uh, most of those problems were because of the dentist and not because of me. Um, and I should have gotten a second opinion. But hindsight's always 2020, right? So um, I actually, though, don't really mind the dentist. And I always love that clean teeth feeling. So... I'm not too against it, but Claire keeps talking about the dentist like she wants to go. And I don't know whether I should like make an appointment just for like her to get comfortable with it and have them, you know, just look at her teeth as much or as little as they can because they probably won't be able to do much when it comes down to it. So I'm actually going to put a third little pumpkin there in the middle, but I knew that a full dimensional wouldn't fit. So... There. So a cute little cluster of leaves, both stamped and adhered down, and then three little ones. I can't say I'm like super loving any of these cards quite yet. Um, I would say this one's probably my favorite so far. So let me know your guys' favorites. I think I'm going to stamp a couple leaves on the envelopes. just for some decoration. So yeah, let me know how soon did you take your kids to the dentist? I feel like I didn't go to the dentist until I was like much older. Um, 
but I'm not really sure. So just a few little leaves on the corners. There's also a pumpkin, but I wouldn't know what color to stamp him in. I don't know. Ooh, I have a really cool idea. So do you guys think I should um, take her to the dentist and try it out? It'll probably be a disaster. I don't know. Um, or do you think we should just play along with her loving the dentist right now and wait till something bad happens? Hopefully that doesn't happen. Of course, she still has baby teeth. Um, and I hope everything's going okay with them. There's no cause for concern. I just almost wonder, because like I will say, one of the things about going to her eye doctor appointment is, um, and it's totally not what a parent wants to hear, especially whenever they have a disastrous eye doctor appointment. They haven't been bad. Um, they just, you know, she doesn't really cooperate sometimes. Is just, they almost want you to come often just to get comfortable so that hopefully at one point they catch something a little bit or can tell something a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's kind of crazy, but I'm going to stamp random flowers and then I'm going to adhere random flowers and then just put a greeting in the middle. Also somehow Claire seems to know what a mom is. How did that even happen? She came home with a flower that she pulled off and said, look, mommy, a mom. I'm like, how do you know that? I didn't even know what kind of flower it was. I guess she could be lying to me too. And I would believe her because I don't know my flowers. Okay. Orange ones. yellow ones you guys know how much I love flowers you guys are all quiet today is it because it's Monday are we still a little sleepy I get it so this one the little flower center has popped out which I kind of like that look um, but none of my other ones are popped out so I'm not going to use that one for this card And yeah, if you uh, missed the very beginning, today is National Teacher Something Day Appreciation. It's not Teacher Appreciation Week because that I feel like is in May. So I don't remember what day it is today. But um, we bought treats and sent them with Claire. Teacher treats is what she kept calling them. Um, so to all my teachers out there, you guys are amazing. And... So thankful for you. We love Claire's teachers. Okay, so simple flower background. Then I'm going to stamp a greeting. Whatever's going to fit on one of these. These white squares. I have ha have a happy hollow. Have a happy Halloween. Um. But that's not really the greeting I want. That one says happy haunting, but I still don't really want that. And I don't know if these are going to fit. What about just the give thanks? That one fits, but it's kind of small. Time to find another stamp. If you know of one that you love that says thinking of you, let me know and I'll see if I have it. I have one that says just saying hello. Ooh, what about sending you a paper hug? Or know that I love you and care about you. That's a cute one too. But I'm gonna do sending a paper hug. Oh, look, it fits perfectly. I love it.
I'm a big hugger. So yes, I'm struggling during this uh, pandemic <laughs> because I'm such a hugger. So I did three in paper, or in paper pumpkin, in pumpkin pie, and three of them in the Cajun craze. I feel like I could make a whole bunch of these. And then let's get one of those like lattice pieces. Not in black. What about in... Where did they go? Oh, wait, here they are. In Cajun Craze. Maybe I should have put the greeting on first so I didn't have to cover up some of my um, flowers, but that's okay. Sending a paper hug. So I'm just going to add some adhesive to the back of the, um, the paper hug greeting. Press it onto the lattice. And of course, there's adhesive coming through, but I'm still going to add some dimensionals to the back of this, trying to overlap as much as I can over that, um, the lattice and that background so that they don't like separate on me and to make sure the adhesive holds tight. Oh, okay, so this one I'm loving, probably because it's flowers, and I just love flowers. Sending you a paper hug. So cute. I want to make a few more of those. Hmm, I lost all my little pieces. Oh, and then let's do a little flower on the envelope. I did it in Cajun Craze. There, I just did three little flowers without going back to the ink. So I'll do this one. One, two, three. Cute. I can also do one, two, three on that back lip. So here's our little paper hug card. Adorable. And this uses the leftover pieces from the September Paper Pumpkin Kit. Okay, did I lose all my cards? Oh, here they are. So, because I have a million and one of those flowers, then we're just going to quickly make a few of these. Because it's always quicker to make multiples than it is to make different ones. And since I know I have a ton of the flowers and I like this design, then why not? And a lot of times I like to fall off. I feel like I'm like running out of room. Yeah, you guys can't even see me stamp. Okay, we're gonna move some of these samples. Maybe some of these ink pads too. Um, I always like to fall off of my um, card front whenever I'm doing a random background. That way it makes it look like the pattern goes on and on and on rather than like tight. So I'll kind of show you what I mean whenever you don't fall off. It's really hard for me to do this. Okay, so look at this one. I did not fall off the edges. And then look at this one. Can you see the difference in how it really like makes the card look bigger and like it goes on and on versus like, like almost like I just like threw something at the paper here and here it was like, I like threw it in the, 
air and it sprinkled down so delicately. So that's why I always say to fall off the edges. Now, if you like this style, perfectly fine, go for it. So, and then there I fell off the edges and kind of fixed it. See? So that's what I mean by fall off the edges um, with, uh, with your pieces so that it looks like it goes on and on. See, and look how I'm going to whip up these three cards faster than I created any of the other cards. I feel like you know when you hit a good card. And that's why I'm kind of like, mm, not really loving any of these quite yet. Like, they're still gorgeous, and I still like them. But, like, it just hasn't, I haven't nailed it yet. You know what I mean? And then you do one of those where you nail it, and you're like, oh, my gosh, that's so amazing. And that's how I feel with this card, is it's so cute. I think I just really like that greeting too. It is so cute. I also want to say, and I'm not saying this to brag or anything like that, I'm simply saying how the power of a card is so amazing. So last Monday, I told you guys that I sent happy mail um, to my family because they're all farmers. And I was just wishing them the best with the holiday, or the holiday, the harvest season. And that they stay safe because it's not a, an easily, um, easily doable job by anyone. There's a lot of risks and everything else, um, as there is every day. But um, harvest can be kind of crazy and long hours, making them tired, making them maybe not... Um, always completely aware, you know, all of that sort of thing. Um, same goes for like end of the year for accountants and everything like that. So anyway, I sent uh, all of my family cards just saying, you know, we're praying for you during this harvest season and, um, and we wish you the best. And those of you who are at home with the kids um, without your husband helping along, uh, don't worry, you got this. The house won't burn down, or hopefully it doesn't, um, and that sort of thing. And um, all of my family members have messaged me and said, um, thank you for the card, thank you for the words of encouragement, thank you for the prayers, whatever it might have been. So all of them appreciated it a lot and, um, and know that I'm thinking of them. So it was really sweet to know that uh, that they all appreciated that because, you know, the simple, a simple handmade card. Um, and, you know, it doesn't even have to be handmade. I know that, like, I make my own cards and stuff, but just send out happy mail no matter what it is because it's so impactful and so amazing. And I'm telling you, it makes you feel amazing to write it out and go, oh, I just hope this brightens their day. And then whenever they actually like message you and say it brightened my day, you're like, that's so cool. So it's almost like a, um, it goes both ways sort of thing. Like it makes me feel good to send out happy mail um, and know that I'm uh, making someone's day, but it also makes them feel good. So it's a great way to start out the week, although the mail took them like a week to get there and it should have taken like one to two days. What are you gonna do about that? Um, but they still got the cards and it was awesome. So I'm sending these paper hugs to people. I can already think of um, a couple people who I can't wait to send these to. Some of them are my older relatives that of course we haven't seen in a long time because we can't um, or you know we haven't had family gatherings or anything like that. And um, and I don't want them to think that we've forgotten them. Let's see. Oh, here's one more. And then some of them are just, just random cards. Ooh, I do have to say that I need to make the cutest puppy card 
because this puppy is adorable. So I'm a kitty person, okay? I'm I'm all cats. Like I puppies are cute, but like I love cats. Um we would have one if it wasn't for the fact that a kid is kind of enough right now. Um <laughs> Uh, the other thing is, is with my allergies and stuff, I'm not so sure I really want an indoor pet. I've never had an indoor pet um, because we always lived on a farm. And so we had outdoor pets all the time. And so I'm not sure that I can handle it. Um, and again, having kids, I don't think we need to add too much chaos to our plate as we're already doing that, having a second one. So <laughs> um, I do think Claire would love a cat, though, because she does love cats. Um but anyway, my aunt is getting a new puppy, and this puppy is adorable. It is a toy poodle. It is mostly black. She said there's a little white on it. There's like a little white on the chin. And then um, I think she said one of the paws is white, but uh, I saw three paws and there was no white, so I'm assuming it's that fourth paw, and, um, and I just couldn't see it. But this thing is so so little and so curly and it looks like the softest thing ever and I'm so excited for her because she lost her other dog um, a couple months ago and um, she had that dog forever so it was very upsetting um, to lose that dog and so now I'm just so excited for her to be getting a new one and kind of have that um, that excitement in her life and everything. So I need to make her the best card ever. Um, most likely I'll use the Playful Pets designer series paper because I feel like that's perfect. Um, which the designer series paper Playful Pets is one of them that's on sale this month. So even better. It's on sale for 15% off as well as other select um, so there's another one. Um, other select uh, designer series paper packs. But I know that that's one of them. So time to stock up. If you're a huge pet fan, you need that. And I mean, I'm not even like a huge pet fan. But I got the paper so that I can make random cards. Like this adorable card that, um, that you guys will probably be joining me to help make. Because one, I want your guys' feedback. And two, I can't wait so um so we will be making that one together i don't need yellow i need um i need more orange actually and i don't oh here's some more orange i'm actually starting to run out on some of these i'm glad you're liking them karen of course my um comments aren't scrolling and we're just going to put it there. I don't know. I feel like there needs to be one there falling off and one there, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, I still forgot this one. Yellow. See, so this is why I always cut off all of my used pieces because it makes it easier to find out what's left. And I'm kind of one of those like OCD, like use it up sort of people. So see, now that's all that's left. And then like this one, like I can't wait to use that and those two so that I can cut that off. Okay, need more flowers. So I guess I'm gonna use some of these. These don't have um, stems on them, but that's okay. So let me know in the comments who you want to send happy mail to this week. I know I have a anniversary that I need to send. And, and I think a birthday too. I kind of need, I need one more Cajun craze. And then I'm going to send out these paper hugs. I'm going to try to see if I can move this orange one down. There we go. 
so cute. I love them. Okay, so now we need three more envelopes. One, two, and three. And then I'm going to do the lips again, too. So, you know, I'm going to do this one, two full strength on either end. This one, just one full strength. And then this one, I'll do the three again. Cute. So many possibilities. I love it. Okay. So here we have the cards that we made today with the leftover pieces. And let me tell you, I could make 500 million more because I still have these and this and little pumpkins and more little pumpkins and white flowers and brown and yellow flowers another big pumpkin some yellow curly cues I really need to find something to do with those curly cues but they're so difficult to adhere on so I'm always trying to adhere them with something else and so that's why I think I kind of forget about them whole bunch of leaves and flowers, two more sheets of leaves and flowers, kitties and black um, flowers, more labels and white flowers, more small pumpkins and orange labels, more kitties and black flowers, curly cues. Um, there's two sheets of curly cues and the black lace and all of that. So much leftover goody. I love it and all of this. So this probably isn't what we're going to do on Friday as well because I want to mix it up and, um, and make it different for you guys. So stay tuned uh, on Friday. I will be here at 1215 and we'll be doing something fun. If there's something that you want to see specifically from maybe the holiday catalog or a certain holiday, Thanksgiving, um, Hanukkah. I've never really done anything in Hanukkah, but that could be fun. Um, Christmas, if you guys are ready for that, I'm trying to kind of stick with fall a little bit more um, and not jump straight into Christmas, but kind of bounce back and forth here and there. Um, as I know, I'm working on a ton of Christmas stuff. But yeah, these are the cards that we made today. Here, let's put away some of these envelopes so it doesn't look like just a ton of um, white. But these are just note cards and envelopes. Simple, cute, and quick to send out. And then I made a whole mess of these cute little flower ones with the sending paper hugs. So, so cute. I love it. So, yeah, I'll be back on Friday at 1215 with Laura's Dose of Stamping Therapy. Of course, you can always check out my blog, laurastamppad.com, and check out my YouTube channel, Laura's Stamp Pad, to get lots of inspiration, techniques, ideas, and everything else. Don't forget about the designer series paper sale that's going on with Stampin' Up! this month. Um, I do have, I think the description might still say the, um, the snowflake paper, but that link will still get you to the entire sale of all the papers. So that is super fabulous. Check that out. Don't miss out on stocking up on your favorite two-sided, awesome designer series paper um, at 15% off. So woo woo, so exciting. I'm so happy to be able to stamp with you guys and have so much fun. You mean the world to me and I love our little stamping therapy session. So love hugs and prayers to all of you guys. You're amazing. I wish you the best day today as well as the best week because I'll see you on Thursday, or Thursday, on Friday. So happy stamping and stay safe and stay healthy. Bye-bye.